Um, I don't know whether it would be in order for me to start by congratulating you uh, for mm. the good news in the family. How do you know? Mr. President, I, <laughs> I'm a nation editor. It's my business to know. <laughs> but I should start by congratulating Thank you. Thank you very much. I this is very good that. news, yes. I know you must be very happy about it. Very this. excited. Yes, yes. Uh. Uh, secondly, um, I will ask a typical question mm. about your day. Uh, mm. How is your day like uh, uh, today mm. compared to what it was on, on March uh, the 3rd? Mm. How has this whole situation affected mm. the way you operate? Uh, how do you organize your day mm. when you have to maintain distance between uh, nearly everyone and nearly everything that you do? Mm -hmm. How do you organize your day by Zoom? rather than having people one-on-one. Uh, on, on one. So how is your day like now, uh, Your Excellency? Well, let me, let, let me say that uh, my day is pretty much the same as it always is. Uh, the only difference, exactly as you've said, is that uh, whereas maybe previously you were having more face-to-face -face, uh, engagements with people, today, unfortunately, as a result of... Uh, what is facing us and this uh, a virus that is abound all over the country and all over the world, mm. you are doing exactly the same thing but using uh, more or less technology. You know, we start every morning with our security briefings from our uh, various agencies. You start mm. with the police, you, the military, the intelligence teams. Mm. And you get your daily uh, update, what has happened, what has gone on through the night. Mm. Were there any incidences in the borders? Were there any issues uh, across the country? Mm. Uh, uh, and those briefs continue. And uh, as you discuss with them individually and sometimes collectively, uh, agree on uh, the kind of posture that you will uh, take for that day. Then from there, it is uh, engagement with uh, those charged with uh, various uh, responsibilities, uh, various uh, ministers, sometimes directly to permanent secretaries, especially in areas where I have pet projects that are very keen on seeing uh, uh, progress and move forward. NMS also, you know, for example, came on board just as COVID was just about to hit us. So uh, again, you get those kind of briefings and then during the rest of the day, you also have uh, and continue having uh, meetings with regional leaders, with uh, leaders on the African continent, with global leaders, where again you continue exchanging ideas as to what is happening, how are you handling, how are you managing, uh, um, focusing ourselves, especially with our development partners on the areas where Kenya can get assistance. Yes. Uh, so so, so the, 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 the day a little bit with less people that you come in contact with, the day is pretty much the same. Let me also ask a question that my pastor insists that we must ask everyone that we meet in, yes. the, in the midst of all this depression and, mm. and, and people worried and, mm. and wants and desperation, which is to ask you, how are you doing personally when you see all these things? Well, you know, when you see yes, the I'm doing okay. Yeah. The planes parked at the airport. Yes, the I'm doing, I, I am doing fine. But let us also be frank that it is a very challenging time. Um, as a result, again, of, 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 of this disease, you know, many sectors of our economy, as you said, aviation, uh, the horticulture industry, the flower industry, the tourism industry, the hospitality industry, uh, generally, you know, the, 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 the bars, the, 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 the restaurants, all these are hurting, and they employ huge numbers of our people. So, of course, it's very uh, disturbing, you know, because you imagine these are all very hardworking, capable, honest Kenyans who used to wake up in the morning and go about their normal work. And, 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 and it is disturbing that now they're in a position where um, they are living very challenging lives. And as head of state and as leader and as the person responsible for government, 
it, it concerns me. It worries me on an ongoing on an ongoing basis, right? It worries me. It concerns me. Yeah, yeah? and and uh, you are constantly battling with that issue of yes, we we want life to go back as quickly as possible to normal, so that people can continue with their ordinary normal lives and the economy can. Can, can, can rejig itself and get back to where it's were, and these people can be back at work. But at the same time, looking and recognizing the very real danger that if we go about it too fast and without a plan, we will be digging graves, as we are seeing happening in many parts of the world today where people have taken this disease as not serious, and we have seen the consequences of it. Yeah? So, so balancing between life and livelihood, the, the, these are not easy challenges. And uh, I, I can admit that it, it, it has been very difficult. It has been very difficult because I know people, yeah, sometimes personally, yeah? and, and uh, they're saying, why don't you open up? Then at the same time, you have other people saying, no, nah, nah, we don't want to open up because of the dangers, you know? And, and trying to balance this is, 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 is not a, 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 an easy course, but uh, we try, we manage. I am grateful for the many uh, uh, people who are also around me, who we talk with, who are advising, who are giving input. And at the end of the day, we just want to ensure, first and foremost, which is, as I have always said, the priority of any government, to protect life and property. So we must focus ourselves on our ability to protect life and property. And as much as the economy is also important, but that must come secondary to life because, you know, there is no point of having an economy in and amongst people who don't have life. So uh, it, it's, it's a difficult balance, but we try and we're pushing and, and, and we're very grateful to God because uh, Kenya has not so far, God willing, so long as we all continue to observe the protocols that have been set, Kenya, Kenya has not lost as many lives as we have seen in other parts of the world.